morning everyone welcome back to my vlog I thought today I would share one of my favorite things to do which is to create Lego mechs and by mech I mean a man operated uh, robot you can see mechs in everything from the matrix to avatar and other such movies and uh, I'd originally seen the Ninjango, I, I, I think it's, is that Ninjango, um, or Ninjango, Ninjango figures, which I was buying for Dexter. Every time I bought him one of these sets, I was kind of like, you know, I could really do something with this. But like, how nice would it be if I could actually go and theme them because I could see police sets and, uh, other kind of sets that I believed would make really great mechs like in a future world with the police or firemen or whatever actually use these huge robots to help them um, so yeah I sat and watched a bunch of movies like Pacific Rim and The Matrix and um, Avatar and said like what would the perfect kind of mech be and I started planning before I bought anything and the truth is I realized very quickly that um, unless you start playing with Lego again you're really not going to know how to actually you know make something out of it so I decided to just kind of jump in I bought a bunch of the Ninjango, uh, Ninjango, Ninjango robots and quickly realized that I couldn't do that much with them. They were very tailored to the specific robots they were trying to get you to build. So I then went and bought a few extra kind of things. I bought anything that I could get. I wanted to build this black like mech. And I was originally going for like a cop theme, like a police theme, but it didn't really work out. So. I ended up just saying, okay, I want like a stealth mech and I'm gonna need as many black, shiny, slick parts as I could. Now, guys, there's no instructions for these things. I have looked at YouTube videos of what other people have done and there's some outstanding, outstanding uh, mechs out there and there's some real enthusiasts who are really into this. So this here is the first mech that I built all black it's all stealthy i used as many black parts as i had i did run out at some point i ended up putting in these gray pieces which i will replace someday and yeah i wanted to make sure that it was fitting i always see these robots and they never really like truly have the the human form i mean the closest you've got is pacific room and so yeah i wanted to give these bots a booty and everything so here's my black booty bodied robot. It's actually got, in the top here, it's actually got the Tron uh, minifigure in there. And I will do a more detailed. So yeah, I have no weapons on here or anything like that. Um, and I have thought about how to do that, but I didn't have anything that I could really use, but this was my first mech. This first one took me, I think, about two weeks to a month to do. It took me quite a while. I can't remember exactly, but um, it was great fun kind of playing with Lego again for the first time. And yeah, I really got into what I was doing. I wanted to make sure that all of the bots could move, so they've all got joints, feet move, but at the same time, they also needed to stand on their own. So there was a lot of structural stuff that I had to put into place, and I could only learn that by doing. It's not something I could have planned before. Unfortunately, they do break um, quite often because I haven't figured out like how to stabilize everything. 
uh, and I'm not sure yet how I'm going to display them around my home. The next part that I built was this Explorer bot. The Explorer bots in my mind are kind of the workers of kind of situations where cars can't go, helicopters wouldn't help, but get dropped into a specific zone and have to help things out. So in this instance, we've got ourselves a um, bot that goes into volcanic environments and goes and scoops up volcanic debris, I guess. Is it debris? I don't know. But yeah, goes in there and works in volcanic um, spaces, built in things like having these cooling systems, these fans on the back of their legs, so they're nice and, um, hamstrings, and all these pipes coming in here are part of the cooling system. But you can see that this is very industrial, kind of, uh, it was a combination of um, the, I don't know what the Lego theme's called, but it's volcanic kind of scenes, and I grabbed also some tractors, and this is kind of the results. Taking a theme to the next level, I built this Arctic Explorer bot. And there you go, there's it, quite coming off. But the um, so next bot is this Arctic Explorer, which obviously is in the Antarctic and cuts ice and uh, has to deal with some uh, animals like furry tusked elephants and so on and all those lovely animal, animals by the way they go straight to Dexter who loves all of these creatures that I get from all these sets but yeah the Arctic Explorer you can see it's also a workhorse machine um, and it's got a radar on its back so you can track its positioning because you know once you get out there it's all white and all thing lots of light because there's not a, a lot of sunlight um, and uh, yeah, you see it's a nice, tall, deep robot, and I think one of the tallest of the robots that I've built. Now after I built that first one and I showed Dexter, he then went into his room, grabbed his Ninjango boxes, which he hadn't built since Christmas, and came to me and went, Dad, I want you to have these and build more robots. So, I was super pumped uh, when he said that and so I said to him, cool, why don't you help me? And we went and we bought a set of Lego together, which we then spoke about what we would do. When it came down to actually building the, the robots, he wanted nothing to do with it. He was just like, Dad, you do your thing. Dexter and I chose to do a fire engine scene because we couldn't find enough police parts and he also had a lot of red parts from one of his sets that he previously had. So we decided that we were going to do a fire engine uh, mech and uh, yeah, that, we think this came out well. You know, this would be a city bot, it would work with the other firemen and the other vehicles but be able to do things that they probably couldn't do. So they have all the things that, that a fireman would need, like spare axes and fire hoses. But at the same time, I also made provision to make sure that there were fire extinguishers that are actually on the bot itself. Got the big feet to ensure that it's grounded and can support everything. Has place for extra equipment, ropes, everything else, and at the same time protects the fireman, that's why there's so much protection around you as well as a glass to make sure that the fireman is protected in there. And then there's also this extendable ladder which actually works. So you can actually extend the ladder out and a fireman could get in the top there um, to help people out. The last two robots that I built, I did in one weekend. Um, so I went from two weeks to a month to build the first robot to building the other two robots 
in a single weekend. In fact, one took me all but an afternoon. I do plan on shooting these bots very beautifully and I would like some help. So if there's any photographers who are interested in helping me shoot these Lego mechs, then please uh, give me a shout, leave a comment below and, and I will be in touch. You know, quite often people think that when you say you're creative, you're either gonna make music or you're gonna paint or you're gonna dance or something like that. Um, people don't seem to consider the fact that Lego could be a creative outlet. For me, uh, getting a box of Lego, using my imagination, my imagination's the blank canvas uh, in which I then apply the Lego blocks and build something. I've built two large Lego displays, which again, I'd also like to cover in my vlogs sometime. And if you're interested, please give me a shout below. Um, it's definitely was one of my big passions, but after building two displays, I've, I, I wanted something more immediate, something more creative than collecting. Building these mechs is a great creative outlet. Awaken the part of you that still wants to play. So I was up really late last night editing. So I wanted to get this vlog out of the way um, early today so that I could actually enjoy what is a pretty beautiful day outside. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool.